say, I adore you, the master of heaven and earth. I bless your great name, O God, my Father and my God. I call on the uh, on, on, on you, my Father, that you replant to me in me, O God, and and uh, unquenchable thirst for you, O God, my Father, and satisfy and uh, that anger that cannot be satisfied uh, by anything else, O oh God, uh, that I will not be satisfied uh, or of you, King of glory, that every season I shall yearn uh, for more of you, O oh God, uh, for more of you, King of kings, uh, that my heart will be hungry, my heart will be thirsty, my heart, O oh God, uh, will desire you always. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, have your way tonight. Uh, exalt uh, my father the, your, 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 your holy name uh, Jesus glorify my God uh, the father in this place uh, in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and the Holy Spirit unfold the mind of God uh, to each one of us today such that which is in the heart of the father and unfold it to us in the mighty name of Jesus we are here for you, O Lord. We are here for you, King of Kings. We are here for you, Lord of Lords. We are here for you, Master. Riamo Shebeba, Rakaba Jazeterebo, Nikatandarabela, Shekrozai Tamaya, Nakotarabiboria, Rimo Sintamaya, Rekabo Boribalama, Nakatoro Boribaza, Sheketondirimayana, Rekrozai Taba. Receive praise, receive glory, receive honor, receive all the majesty. Thank you, Lord. I love you. I exalt you. I praise you. And I honor you tonight. That fathers, we sit at your feet. My father, speak to us. Speak to us, oh God. Speak to us, oh God. I want us. Nataka tunapo. Simama hivo tumambie buwana. Achiri encha. Actually, in chat, to release a hunger for his word in your heart. That hunger that cannot be satisfied by, 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 by money, by achievements. That hunger, the continuous hunger. Because losing the hunger is losing the spiritual food for your soul. Tell God, give me a hunger, more hunger. And not only you, but pray that the church will be filled with a hunger for the word of God a hunger for his presence in the name of Jesus Christ that we shall continuously thirst for the Lord for the Lord for the Lord for the spirit of God that we shall continuously thirst oh yes in the name of Jesus Christ that we shall not be satisfied because of the small and the limited steps we have taken that always there will be a hunger there will be a desire for more there will be a desire for more in our hearts in the name of Jesus. They refuse tonight to reach a point where you are satisfied. Refuse tonight to reach a point where you are fed by the word in the name of Jesus, by the presence of God, that you will find yourself not desiring to be where he is. Call on that name in the Ramazai, in the name of Jesus. I call on you, Jesus of Nazareth. I call on you, Jesus of Nazareth. Release that hunger in the church. Release that hunger in the church. Release that hunger in the body of Christ. Release that hunger in this place. In the mighty name of Jesus. A hunger for your presence. A hunger for more, oh God. Yes, in the name of the Lord. A hunger for more, King of Kings. Riamashatamakadaya. Shakra zotere borimaza. Shakatara. A hunger for more, a hunger, my father. I thirst for you like a parched ground. I thirst for you like the deer, oh God. I pray, King of glory, nothing shall stop my thirst, oh God, for you. In the name of Jesus, it shall not be quenched by any achievement. Oh God, my anger shall not be filled by anything else, oh God. Oh my God, in every day, renew my anger, renew my anger. 
forever. Renew my thirst. Renew my anger. Renew my thirst. In the name of Jesus. That I shall desire more. More of you Jesus. More of your presence. More of your presence. More of you Jesus. More of you Jesus. That I may grow. From glory to glory. From one depth to another. In the name of Jesus. That I will not be satisfied. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, until you are unfolded for the church, take away any form of satisfaction to the glory and for the honor of your name. Receive all the praise tonight. Receive all the honor tonight. Receive all the adoration tonight. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. We give you honor, we give you praise, and we give you all the glory. Thank you for our gathering tonight. Even as we sit, I pray, cause our ears to hear your voice. Let our eyes of understanding be enlightened. And let this be an evening where we receive your revelation and we receive your understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's clap our hands to our God. Amen. Then we may be seated. Those who are very far, you can move nearer so that we can have one team in Jesus' name. Amen. I want tonight to talk about Jesus. I want to talk about Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Nataka kuongea kuhusu Yesu. Amen. John chapter number 1. I read verse 1. John 1 and verse 1. The Bible says, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Praise the name of Jesus. In the natural, ama katika hali ya kawaida, Ukisikia neno The word The word Praise the name of Jesus Amen And he says the word Was with God And the word was God Katika your sentence unaona, The word Taking The place of a man Praise the name of Jesus That there is a word as I speak, I'm speaking words. Praise the name of Jesus. Nikinena ni nanena maneno. Neno ni moja. Amen. Maneno ni mengi. Sasa mwanzo kulikuwa na neno. That is singular. Iro neno likawa na mungu. Are we together? Na iro neno likawa mungu. So the word eh, goes through a Genesis. Praise the name of Jesus. From not only being a word, but being present with God, and then taking the form of a person. Praise the name of Jesus. And then the Bible says in verse 14, verse 14, the Bible says, the word became flesh. So this word leaves the presence of God and becomes fresh. Kwa sababu tunajua, Ya kwamba mungu ni roo. Mungu hana muiri. Praise the name of Jesus. Kitu chochote kina muiri, kiko limited. Because I have a body, I cannot be here and at the same time be in town. If you meet me here and, in, and then you see the same person at the same time in town, then it means one of them is not real is a ghost. Praise the name of Jesus. So the word which is in the spirit takes the body of a man. It becomes fresh. And then man is dwelling among us. So that word in the spirit takes the body of a man 
and lives with us. And then he says, we have seen his glory, the glory of the one and only who came from the Father, full of grace and truth. So that fresh, we were able to see it. We were able to see the fresh. And that fresh is one and only who came from the Father. So this word that was in the beginning with God taking the, the body of a man is Jesus Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. Mwanzo kulikuwa na neno. Neno likawa na mungu. Na neno likawa mungu. Praise the name of Jesus in the spirit. Then it became fresh and made his dwelling amongst us. Praise the name of Jesus. So the word leaves the spiritual realm to come to the physical realm. And that word becomes the only one who is from the Father. Praise the name of Jesus. Who is this? It is Jesus Christ. Coming right from the presence of God to come and live with us. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. So Jesus made his dwelling in our midst. I want to talk about Jesus because Christianity is all about Jesus. Amen. O Christo ni kuhusu Yesu. Bila Yesu hakuna u Christo. The word Christian means to be Christ like. Ni kuwa kama Christo. Kwa hivyo any time we minus Jesus from our faith it ceases to be Christianity. Muna nisikia? Bwana aswe sana. Tuki muondoa Yesu kutoka kwa ukristo. Bwana aswe sana. Bas, imani ya ukristo imeishia hapo. Kwa maana ukristo bila Yesu sio ukristo. Christianity is all about Jesus. And every other thing in the life of a believer must have its basis on Jesus. Every other thing in the life of a believer must have its basis on Jesus. Kira kitu kingine katika maisha ya mukristo musingi wake ni lazima uwe ni Yesu Amen Chochote ambacho kinakuondoa kwa Yesu Amen Bwana asifiwe sana kimekuondoa kwa Ukristo Chochote kinachochukua nafasi ya Yesu kimekuondoa kwa Ukristo na kimekudisqualify kuitwa mukristo Praise the name of Jesus because kama wewe ni mukristo baraka zako zinatokana na Kristo Nimekuwa nikifundisha hapa ya kwamba sisi tumepandika katika eh, nyua za Mungu tutafauru katika nyua za Kristo We are transplanted in the courts of God and we flourish in the courts of God. Praise the name of Jesus. In other words, kitu chochote kinacho musu mukristo. Bwana aswe sana. Musingi wake ni lazima ikue kristo. Tuki muondoa kristo katika maisha ya mukristo. Kingine chochote ambacho anatenda. Inche ya kristo inamanisha huyo mtu amekosa kuwa mukristo. Because all the things we do must have their basis on Christ. The Bible says he is the author 
and the finisher of our faith. The life of a Christian is bracketed in Christ. It must have Christ as the beginning and Christ as the end. Anything you do outside Christ disqualifies you from being a Christian. Praise the name of Jesus. Chochote unachofanya kama mukristo ni lazima kiwe ndani ya Kristo. Kwa maana yeye ndiye mwanzo na anayekamilisha imani yako. Mwanzo wa maisha yako ni Kristo na mwisho wa maisha yako ni Kristo. Amen. Ukiondoka inche ya Kristo katika kile unachokifanya tayari wewe umekuwa disqualified kuwa mukristo. So everything about us is nothing outside Christ. It's all about Christ. Hebrews 12 verse 1. Hebrews chapter number 12 verse 1 and 2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great crowd of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that is so easily entangles and let us run with the perseverance the race marked out for us. Don't move it. Let, let's stick there. Praise the name of Jesus. We are surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses. Praise the name of Jesus. So many people are watching us both in this life and those who have gone before us. They are all our witnesses. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible uh, advises us that we should throw off everything that hinders and the sin that is so easily entangles. Chochote ambacho kinaweza kukuzuiria iwe ni dhambi ama kitu chochote ukiondoe ndio hii imbio ya imani uweze kuikimbia kwa subira. Bwana asifiwe sana. Let us run with the perseverance the race marked out for us. Why should we do that? Verse 2 let us fix our eyes where on Jesus not on our certificates not on our finances not on our achievements because I've said a Christian outside Christ is already disqualified is not a Christian amen let us fix our eyes on who on Jesus why he is the author and the perfecter of our faith. Praise the name of Jesus. That word perfecter in New King James is a finisher. Everything in the life of a believer begins and ends with Christ. Are, are you getting what I'm, my, 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 what I'm saying? It is a Bible study. Are you getting what I'm saying? Praise the name of Jesus. We look unto Jesus. So anything that does not resemble or align itself with Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. We put it aside. Why? Because for us to be Christians. Praise the name of Jesus. We need to have Christ with us. Ndiyo tuito wa kristo jameni. Ni lazima yesu wa kwe upande wetu. So chochote ambacho. Akimu wakrishi kristo. Katika maisha yetu. Katika hii imbio ya imani. Ni lazima tukiondoe. Kwa maana tusipo kiondoa. Kita tuondoa kwa yesu. Na kiki tuondoa kwa yesu. Basi sisi siyo wa kristo tena. Kwa maana ukristo ni mesema is all about Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. And the Bible says who for the joy 
Give me the scripture verse 2. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. What joy is that that was said before him? Is the joy of seeing you become like him. That is the joy. The joy of recruiting many others into his team. Into his faith. Yesu alifraishwa na kukuona wewe umeokoka katika kali na hii ndio alifumilia msalaba amen akue mfano wetu tujue kwamba kila kitu kinachotuhusu ni kwa gharama yake amen kila kitu kinachotuhusu ni kwa gharama yake Kwa hivyo furaha ya kukupata wewe ikafanya afumilie msalaba. Na wewe kuna vitu zitakugarimu usifumilie ndio upaki kwa Kristo. Wakati mwingine unaweza kuaibishwa kwa sababu ya hii imani. Yesu aliaibishwa msarabani. wewe dumu katika Kristo. Praise the name of Jesus. I pray that you understand me. Yesu alifumilia kwa sababu ya kukupata. Wewe umempata. Kuna wakati itabidi ufumilie ndio ubaki ndani yake. Praise the name of Jesus. So Jesus is the basis of every believer. Everything we do, everything we have, everything we desire the basis should be Christ. Our life is Christ, not outside Christ. And nothing should take us away from Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Because he is God living together with us. Jesus is the connection between humanity and God. Jesus is the connection between humanity and God. That's a powerful point to write it down. Is the connection. Praise the name of Jesus. Stima inaweza kuja mpaka nje ya nyumba yako. You need a connection for you to have power. Are we together? Otherwise utaionea kwa poles. Praise the name of Jesus. And for us to be connected with our father we need Jesus amen amen not a church not a denomination a denomination does not connect you with the father or with God we are connected by Jesus. He is the connection between us and God. In other words, there is no relationship or no relationship can exist between man and God without Jesus. Let me come again. No relationship can exist between man and a God without Jesus. Hakuna uhusiano. Unaweza kukuepo ama unaweza kuwa kati ya Mungu na mwanadamu bila Kristo. Kristo ndiye mpatanishi, ndiye kiunganishi. Amen. <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus. Are we together? Biblia inasema ya kwamba he came for his own. Alikuja kwa walio wake. Lakini walio wake wakamkata. Correct? Amen. Lakini wote walio mkubali akawapa uwezo 
wa kuitwa wana wa Mungu. Tuko pamoja. Akawapa uwezo. Huo uwezo ndio connection. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. For us to get this power into our instruments, there is a cable that connects. Without that cable you can pray. You can shout but there will be no power. Amen. Hey. Praise the name of Jesus. Jameni watu wa Mungu. We you have come to 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 hear what I'm teaching. Can you say amen to prove we are together? Can you can I hear you say amen? Praise the name of Jesus. So without Jesus, you have no connection. Amen. No relationship can exist between man and God without Jesus. He is the son of God. And the only one who can connect you with him. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Amen. It became fresh and dwelled among us. us. Alikuja kufanya nini katikati yetu? Alikuja katikati yetu ndiyo atupatanishe. Amen. Mwana na baba. Tupatanishwe. Matthew 11 verse 27 shows us that Jesus is the son of God. All things have been committed to me by my father. This is Jesus talking. No one knows the son except the father. And no one knows the father except the son. And those to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Look there. And no one knows the father except the son. Are we together? Yesu ndiye anaye mujua baba. Point number one. Point number two. And those to whom the son chooses to reveal him. Kwa hivyo yeye ndi anajua mungu. Na pia wale ambao yeye ameamua kuwaonyesha baba. Kwa hivyo bila yesu uwezi kumuona baba. Uwezi kuwa na usiano na yeye. Ni yeye anamua kukufunulia mungu I want you to understand The great place Of Jesus In your journey of faith For without Jesus We are nothing Amen Pira Yesu sisi Ni vitu bure Kwa hivyo Uhusiano wa kwanza ni Mungu na Yesu walikuwa na yeye mwanzo. Amen. Na yeye ndiye baba amejifunua kwake. Are we together? Na yeye pia anafunua wale ambao wamemwamini kwa baba. He refills them to the Father. Praise the name of Jesus. Jesus is the son of God. And I don't want to I can establish that because we have already seen he was with God at the beginning. Alikuwa na yeye mwanzo. Akaja kwetu. Yeye anamjua na anamfunulia ama anatufunulia baba. Wale ambao tumemwamini anatufunulia baba. Anaturuhusu tuunganishwe na baba. Praise the name of Jesus. Ninataka ufahamu kwamba kabla ya Yesu Kristo tuliishi kama maadui wa Mungu tuliishi katika uadui na Mungu na ninataka nikwambie kwamba huo uadui haunge kuruhusu haungepata njia yoyote ya kuunganishwa na Mungu ila tu kupitia kwa Kristo Yesu kuna watu ambao wanakosana wanakuwa na chuki mmoja na mwingine Mbaka wapate mpatanishi huo uhusiano hauwezi pona 
na sisi tulikuwa na uadui na Mungu kwa sababu ya dhambi Ephesians chapter number 2 and from verse 11 I'm talking about this man Jesus Therefore remember that formerly when when was this former when you lived in sin So anybody living in sin is living in a, a, a life there but when you come to Christ you have a former life and a new life Amen Kuna maisha niliishi kwa dhambi hayo yanaitwa former Na kuna maisha maisha ninaishi katika walk off yanaitwa the new life Therefore remember that formerly you who were gentiles by birth and called uncircumcised by those who call themselves the circumcision that done in the body by the hands of men uh -huh. remember that at the third time you were separate from Christ excluded from citizenship in Israel and foreigners to the covenant of the promise without hope and without God in this world. Amen. Let's read on. But now in Christ, you who once were far away have been brought near through the blood of Christ. For he himself is our peace who has made the two one and destroyed the barrier, the dividing wall of hostility. Can you give me King James? New King James in that portion. For he himself is our peace who has made both one and broken the middle wall of separation. Uh -huh. We can go on with. Having abolished in his flesh what? What did he abolish? The enmity that is that is the law of commandments contained in ordinances so as to create in himself one new man from the two thus making peace verse 16 and that he might reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross thereby putting to death what enmity the enmity you can't live in sin and be a friend of Christ. Uwezi kuishi katika dhambi na ukue rafiki ya Mungu. Tulipokuwa tunaishi maisha ya dhambi, tulikuwa maadui. Na uadui unaleta disconnection. Na ndio Biblia inasema Mungu asikii maombi ya mwenye dhambi. Kwa maana maombi ya mwenye dhambi ni kama adui anaomba adui mwingine kitu. Oh ni bariki. Adui awezi ukubariki. Mpaka uadui uondoke. Mpaka uhusiano urejeshwe. Praise the name of Jesus. Na sisi tukishi katika dhambi hakuna kitu tungepata kwa Mungu. Kwa sababu kuna ukuta ulikuwa umetutenganisha Amen Na huo ukuta uleta uadui Kristo akaja katikati yetu akafa Praise the name of Jesus on the cross Ili yule anayemwamini wale watakao muamini afunje ule uadui awapatanishe na Mungu Biblia inasema he reconciled them and the two became one so we are one with God through Jesus Christ Naomba msichanganyikiwe <laughs> Praise the name of Jesus That is why we call him our father Kwa sababu uadui umeondolewa the enmity is destroyed and the dividing wall broken through our faith 
in Jesus. Sasa wewe uniambie ni nini kingine kitakupatanisha na Mungu? Sio sadaka. Sio mwanadamu. Hakuna mwanadamu alilipa gharama ya dhambi zetu. Kristo ndiye alilipa gharama ya dhambi. Praise the name of Jesus. Ah, mmesikia nimesema praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. Tulikuwa maadui. Tumetenganishwa. Amen. Let me, let, me, let me go back. Nimesema Christianity is all about Jesus. So I'm looking at this man Jesus. I'm by the central core of our faith. Praise the name of Jesus. Na nimesema every other thing in the life of a believer must have its basis on Jesus. Kira kitu katika maisha ya mukristo lazima musingi wake uwe ni Kristo. So the Christians watching me out there if there is anything you claim to be yours and has separated you from Christ remember that is your enemy because when you are disconnected from Christ you are disconnected from God. Praise the name of Jesus. Kwa maana nimesema the Bible says he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Kwa hivyo nimesema maisha ya Mkristo yamefunganishwa. Yamewekwa katika mipaka ya Kristo. Kila kitu chetu mwanzo wake na mwisho wake ni Kristo. Na chochote ambacho kiko inche ya Kristo. Amen kime kuondoa kwa mkristo ama chochote kinakuondoa kwa kristo kime kuondoa kwa mkristo anything that takes you out of christ has already disqualified you from becoming a christian amen and already disconnected you because only jesus can connect you with god without jesus you have no relationship with God. You have no relationship with God the Father. Amen. And I've shown you that it is Jesus who chooses to reveal the Father to you. Because he's the only one who broke the wall of enmity between us and God. Ali Mariza Akafunja akaondoa ukuta ya uadui kati yako na Mungu. Amen. Na hiyo uadui iliondolewa ulipomwamini Kristo. Sio ulipoanza kuja church. Kwa hivyo kama uko kanisani na haujamwamini Kristo bado wewe hauna connection are we together? You have no connection because the only connection is Christ. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to take you a little further and tell you today that we cannot have a direct approach to God without Jesus. <laughs> Amen. We can't have a direct approach to the Father except through Jesus. Nitaerezea kidogo, but let me finish my statement. No wonder after he resurrected and went back to heaven, he sat at the right hand of God the Father interceding for us. Can I come again? Let me repeat. We cannot have a direct approach to God without Jesus. No wonder after 
why it is I, I, I pray that you are writing this sentence because it will be important I'm trying to put, bring forth another powerful point praise the name of Jesus we cannot have a direct approach of God of the Father without Jesus no wonder after he resurrected and went back to heaven he is seated at the right hand of God the Father interceding for us wacha niseme kwa Kiswahili hatuwezi kuenda moja kwa moja kwa Mungu hata baada ya kupatanishwa wadui umeondolewa lakini bado Yesu ndiye anaye tuombea kwa baba amen ni kwa sababu gani Mungu ni mtakatifu sana na tunaishi katika ulimwengu wa dhambi na wakati mwingi ni yule hata tukisimama mbele za Mungu tunaweza kosa kufikia utakatifu wake Yesu aliyeishi katikati yetu akajua unyonge na udhaifu wa mwanadamu na yeye aliyeishi maisha bila dhambi ndiye peke yake Bwana asifiwe sana anaweza kumapproach baba kwa niaba yetu Amen Ndiyo maana alipofufuka hakwenda mbinguni kustarehe alienda mbinguni akaketi mkono wa kuume wa baba akifanya nini akitufanyia maombi mbele za baba yetu in other words even when we fall short of the glory of god christ can intercede for you nasema ni nani hapa anaweza simama aseme mimi ni mtakatifu sana na kila kitu ninafanya nina uhakika ni asilimia moja kitakubalika na Mungu Baba ni nani katika ubinadamu wetu tuna udhaifu mwingi wakati mwingine mawazo yetu hayapendezi Mungu tutembe hapo vitu ambazo tunaziona hazimpendezi Mungu kwa njia moja ama nyingine tunachafuliwa hata tukiwa wa Kristo na dunia hii tunayoishi ndani yake na ndio maana ni lazima Kristo abaki pale kwa mkono wa kume wa Mungu atuombee sisi mbele za Bwana ndio akasema hivi <laughs> katika Yohana 14 mstari wa 13 John 14 verse 13 anasema hivi John 14:13 and that 14:13 sorry and i will do whatever you ask in whose name well it is a bible study in whose name the students who have come for the bible study can you talk in whose name in my name and whatever you ask in my name that i will do that the father may be glorified in the son why did he say now that i have finished the connection i will withdraw myself now you can ask direct 
the father. Why? Why do we have to go through him? It's because we are living in the flesh, in the body of sin. We are tempted in all ways. We face everything that can make us dirty. Praise the name of Jesus. Now we might not stand before the Father and be acceptable. But Jesus is acceptable before the Father. And he also, na yeye pia anajua udaifu wetu. Biblia inasema yeye ndiye kuani peke yake anayefahamu udhaifu wetu kwa nini aliishi duniani aliona the challenges of humanity he was here he lived like us he understands the challenges we face and only him can understand you when you go through certain things and you are not able to withstand Sometimes you get hungry, you get offended. Bana spoke. Na kuna wakati hata kwa sababu ya ubinadamu wako haustahili kusimama mbele ya Mungu. Mungu ni mtakatifu. Na kuna vitu mingi zinatuchafua. Ukienda katika agano la kale usome Mashariti ya kuja katika uwepo wa Mungu. Kuna watu wengine amewezi kuja kwa Mungu. Kwa sababu labda kuna vitu zimekuna jisi. Kuna vitu zimekuchafua. Na kwa sababu ya hizo vitu uwezi enda kwa Mungu. Kwa maana hujakamilika kulingana na utaratibu wa kiungu. Lakini hata wakati ambapo hawezi kukubarika katika udhaifu wako wa kibinadamu unapoenda kwa Mungu kupitia kwa Kristo Yesu unakubarika Pigia Yesu makofu <laughs> Am I getting complicated or you are understanding Please communicate Are you understanding Praise the name of Jesus. When you read John chapter number 8, verse 34. Let me cover some scriptures even as I cross. John 8, 34. John 8, please. 34. All right. 8, sorry, Romans 8, 34. Sorry, 8, 34. Sorry. Who is he that condemns? Christ Jesus who died more than that who was raised to life is at the right hand of God and is also doing what? Interceding for us. We can be condemned by the law. We can be tunaweza ukumiwa na sheria. Tunaweza ukumiwa katika udhaifu wetu. Lakini Kristo Yesu Alie fufuka. Ama alie fufuriwa kwa wafu. Ameketi mukono wakume wa baba. Na anafanya nini? Anatuombea. Anatuombea sisi. First John. Chapter number two. And first one. And first two. The first letter of John two. First one and two. My dear children, I write this to you so that you will not sin. But if anybody does sin, we have one who speaks to the Father in our defense. Who is he? Jesus Christ, the righteous one. Let me say here, this is not a license to sin. Apana. Amen. Biblia inasema anayetenda dhambi kwa kusudia hakuna damu itakayomosha. 
Nataka ujue kuna aina nyingi ya dhambi. Kuna dhambi tunafanya kwa kutojua. Na kuna dhambi tunafanya kwa kujua. Oh. Amen. Kuna dhambi tunafanya kwa kutojua. Kama saa hii unaweza tenda dhambi vile umetoka nyumbani kwa maana mtu amekukwaza na kwa moyo ulimtusi. Na umekuja chachi. Na utainua mikono. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Ama kwa kuona. Anayemwangalia mwanamke kwa kumtamani. Sawa sawa yeye amelala na yeye. Na sasa dunia hii na wanawake wanataka kutembea uji. Amen. Na wanaume ni fish or beans. Sasa sijui tutafalishwa miwani yenye inatusuiria kuona. Tukifika kwa watu ambao wanatembea uji. Sasa kuna dhambi unaweza tenda bila kujua. Ama kukusudia. Ndi hata katika agano la kale when the land when the Israelites were dividing the land kulikuwa na portion of land ambayo ilikuwa inaitwa the land of refuge mahali ambapo watu walikuwa wanatorokea mtu akiua mtu kimakosa bila kukusudia anatorokea huko ili asiuawe na watu kwa maana alitenda ile dhambi bila kukusudia na Biblia inaanza kuelezea inasema labda mlikuwa mnakata muti mustuni na katika ile hali ya kukata na shoka shoka ikachomoka ikagonga kichwa akakufa huko unakusudia na sasa watu wamekuinukia wakuue unakimbilia huko kuna dhambi tunafanya kama wakristo bila kukusudia na ndio maana biblia inasema nirudishie ile andiko biblia inasema hivi my dear children i write this to you so that you will not do what you will not sin but if anybody does sin this is the sin that you commit unintentionally we have one who speaks to the father in our defense jesus christ the righteous one yesu christo hawezi kutenda dhambi kwa kutojua he is perfect he is righteous before god yani ni mkamilifu hakuna dhambi inaweza mutega lakini wewe unaweza tegwa tunaishi na watu watatukwaza unaweza sikia kunyonga mtu umutafune kabisa na bado unaongea in tongues raba bushara kabada na ulikuwa unafikiria kunyonga mtu hata umutafune unasikia unaweza mmeza live life All right, give me fast two. Fast two. Fast two. Wow. Yani uko mbite mesau haraka. He is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. And not only for our sins but also for the sins of the whole world. Amen. Can you give me New King James? Forget about number 3. I just want one and two. There is a scripture that talks about an advocate. Amen. He is our advocate. He advocates our case. There is a translation I may not manage to pick it. Praise the name of Jesus. He advocates. Kazi ya advocate ni kuchukua kesi yako. Anakuuliza wewe ni kweli kabisa uliiba eh? Niliiba. Okay? Sawa sawa. So vile nitafanya can you uh, new king james ile ya zamani J- king james the old king james can you get king okay forget about it there is a, a there is a translation that brings it out as an advocate praise the name of jesus he advocates on our behalf the work the work of an advocate ni kusimama anakutetea umekosea lakini anatafuta sheria ya kukutetea Kristo Yesu anatutetea. Amen. Hata wakati hatustahili kum kuapproach Mungu, yeye anatutetea. Tunapata approach kwa Mungu. 
for it together. Let me read the final scripture for tonight. Romans chapter number 7, verse 25. Romans 7, 25. The Bible says, Romans 5, 7, 25. I don't know why I'm misquoting the scriptures. Hebrews. I gave you the scriptures. Sorry. Hebrews. Therefore, he is able to save completely those who come to God through him. Because he does what? He always lives to intercede for them. He always lives to intercede for you. Wapendwa, nataka mjue kwamba, we might not approach God, but we have an intercessor. We have an advocate. We have huh, the one to fight our case before God. No, this one cannot be promoted. He, he, he did this. He failed in this one way or another. Jesus says, yes, he failed not intentionally. Amen. Hakufanya ivo kima kusudi. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Na unapata kumu approach mungu. Na kuchukua kiricho cha mungu kwa maisha yako. Ukiwa katika udhaifu wa mwili. Amen. I've said several things. Let me summarize. Christianity is all about Jesus. Amen. Wakati unaitu wa mkristo, ujue na fasi ya Yesu katika maisha yako. Kira kitu kumusu mkristo, musingi wake ni kristo. He is the basis of the life of a believer. Any other thing that you, it takes you out of Christ, it has disqualified you from becoming a Christian. Kwa mana tumeona is the author and the finisher of our faith. I've said Jesus connects you with God. Ana kukonect. Ana kuunganisha na mungu baba. Wana yesu asifiwe. Because he is the son of God. Na he reveals those he wants to the Father. He refills them. He and he and our connect, and our patanisha, and our rekeza kwa mungu, wale anao taka. Na nikasema kwamba, ni yeye alifunja ukuta wa wadui, the wall of enmity, so that we can have a connection with the Father when we believed in him. And I've said, even with all that, we cannot approach him because we live in the world where we are tempted to sin, sometimes we sin unknowingly. And that is why he has taken a place in the right hand of God the Father to intercede for you, to, 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 to present your case before the Father and to make sure that the desire of your heart is met even in your weakness as a human being. Let me say this. With all authority, Jesus is all in all in the life of a Christian. And we must not replace him with anything. Don't replace Christ with anything. He cannot be replaced by water, by salt, by anointing oil, by whatever he is. Praise the name of Jesus. All in all, at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess. Whatever we ask in his name shall be given to us. Whatever we bind and lose in his name, it is done. May you experience the authority of Christ in your life. And may his place never be lost from your life in Jesus' name. Father, thank you for speaking to us. I pray that you shall help us embrace Christ as believers and not to lose the Lord Jesus from our walk of faith. That nothing shall come and take his place in us in the name 
of Jesus Christ. And I pray that as we abide in Christ, meet our desires, minister to us, provide for us, let our faith come to our defense at all times. I bless you for allowing us to hear this and let our confidence arise knowing that Christ for us is the hope of glory. I give you praise, I give you glory, and I give you honor. And now by the authority in the name of Jesus, I release the healing over your body, provision over your life, the covering of God over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And may Christ arise and let the enemies of your life be defeated. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Clap your hands for our Lord Jesus. Amen and amen. Just before we let you go, we want to say thank you for joining us. And now join us in giving your offering. Join us in serving our Lord Jesus Christ. The pay bill is come on your screen. 340-754 340-754 Account number is your name. Your name. Just mention your name and more so if it is your tithe, let's know. If it is your sacrifice, let's know. So you can say under your account you can say Jane tithe. Huh? John offering so that we are able to know in Jesus' name. The Lord bless you. See you again on Sunday. Enjoy your evening. And may you never lose the place of Christ in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's appreciate our viewers even as we release them. <laughs>